Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of November 2023. And I'll um, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. What, what are you doing? Blows up. Blows up and running. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the five of cups. Now that's a little sadness right there. A little bit of looking at the past. Something may have happened here. That kind of keeps you keeps you a little down, a little uh, bummed out. So let's see here. Starting off the reading, you get the Three of Wands crossed by the Hangman. I mean, definitely, definitely in standby with something for quite a while. Uh, it's like you're, you're standing still in the pause kind of a thing. That's a lot of pausing right there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's going on here? It's almost like you're agreeing with the pause that's going on. I don't know. In your focus here, there's a connection with the lovers coming up. Uh, in the recent past, the Four of Swords, there you are, taking it slow, taking it easy, you know, slamming those brakes. In uh, your strength, the Nine of Wands. Are you playing some game here? It almost feels like one of those, oh, yeah? You're not doing anything? Well, I'm not doing anything. Let's see who wins. Kind of looks a little bit like that. Even though I don't think it's supposed to be that, but it kind of looks a little bit like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see more when we clarify, but for now, it's okay. In the immediate future, the devil. This is a quite the unhealthy energy coming into fruition here. Uh, I don't know what kind yet. Uh, supporting this reading, the knight of swords. <laughs> wow, you're killing me here. So your actual energy is that of standing still and the supportive energy is that of movement. So what the hell is going on here? Because it feels like you do want to move things, you know? It's like, come on, come on, come on, let's go. But no, why would we move things? Okay. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the King of Pentacles. I mean, this is a very... Pretty self-empowered kind of an energy, very secure within themselves, very stable. And I kind of get the sense that you're the one that carries this energy right here. I kind of get the sense that this is all a strategy on your part. Like, what the hell is going on here? I'm super curious now. All right, I can't wait to clarify this one. Uh, in your hopes and fears, you get the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> You're stubborn too about it. You're like, no, it's going to happen in the way that I want it to happen. God damn it. And for the potential outcome, the three of pentacles. This is talking about a partnership of some sort. What the hell kind of strategy is this? Let, let, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Let me do the five of cups. The Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords. Okay. So something, you wanted for something to work out. You're showing me, um, you're showing me commitment. You're showing me love. You're showing me all sorts of great things. Uh, but then I see pain, you know, resulting out of that. So clearly things didn't work out in the way that you may have thought they would. Um, and it left a lot of wounding here for you to deal with. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let me do the Three of Wands. The Seven of Cups, the Temperance card, the Six of Pentacles. You're waiting with a purpose here. It's not for nothing, but it's almost like you know, like you're convinced. I don't know what kind of strategy you think you're applying here, but whatever it is you're doing, it almost feels like you already know the outcome, like it's it's going to benefit you. Um, that's how it presents itself, this energy. You're like, okay, we'll wait, we'll wait, it's okay. Like, there's plenty of stuff to do, there's plenty of choices to make, there's plenty of things to go around, but uh, we'll wait, we'll wait. 
until things fall into place. Okay. I mean, it is Saji I'm talking with, right? Yeah. I'm like, that's such not a fire kind of energy. Anyways, for the hangman, you get the page of wands. There you go. The three of wands, the page of swords. Killing me here. The, um, the restraint here is, is <laughs> admirable for a fire sign. Like, what, what is going on? You're patiently standing still, patiently waiting, moving really, really slow if you, if you are moving any kind of anything here. What is going on? Sagi's got it going on. You've got a secret to this. And I don't even know, like, half the time you even know what you're doing here, but you're doing it. Um, let me do the lovers in your focus. The Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Okay. Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. The slow-paced kind of energy um, that's attached to... I, I feel like it's attached to a connection to you and somebody else. Something that has to do maybe with your action around some sort of a connection. Um, and it, it feels like you're heading in the direction of the action. You're not in the action yet. Oh man, you're doing it slow. Um, not, it's not even about being slow. It's about being strategic here. What do you got going on, Saji? You're killing me here. Let me do the Four of Swords. Hmm. In the recent past, the Hangman, the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands. Patience, patience, patience. Let's wait. Let's wait and wait and wait because I know it'll take me somewhere good. All right. Well... I mean, with this kind of an attitude, it will definitely take you somewhere good. I don't know where. It just seems so hard to do for a fire sign. But man, you're showing all the rest of us what it's like to move strategically and slow. Okay, let's do the nine of wands. Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Magician. There you go, manifesting stuff. Manifesting stuff. You're stepping away from your own rejection to things. You're stepping away from you being in your own way, basically. By doing this. By moving very slow. Ooh. But your manifestation, that's you right there. That's the fire. That's the Saji. What the hell is going on? Where are you going with this? I mean, I'll see, but well, maybe I won't see in this reading, but wherever you're going, man. Like, kudos to you for achieving this. Like, whew. Because I, I know fire sign. I'm a fire sign. I know fire signs. This, <laughs> this looks like Mission Impossible to me, but you're doing it like a freaking pro. Okay. For the devil in the immediate future, you get the Five of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Justice card. Interesting. You're entering some sort of conflict here with another energy that you carry. So, let's say you're dealing on one hand with this situation, which is tied up to a connection, which can be just about any kind of connection. Um, and then... That's the thing. You're acquiring some sort of like you're stepping into your power there on a on a more practical matter on like maybe regarding your job or putting some project together. Something's happening where it's kind of it's it's just setting you up in there in the place of man, I feel good about where I'm at, you know, and that kind of energy. It feels like even though it's still grounded, still pretty powerful, still pretty intense and slowish. It gives you this boost of like almost like okay I achieved this. This running kind of an energy is coming through you, which I feel like is entering conflict with this one where you want to stand still. So it's like balancing out these energies somehow, um, or trying to, but you're not doing it very well because you're kind of arguing with yourself there. This is something that requires time. 
possibly a very long time to get you to where you want to be or where you think you want to be with this one. This one, you're already there. So these two energies come into conflict, which both energies are yours. So you, you kind of carry two energies within yourself that, oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm not. Well, wait for me. No, I'm not gonna, you know, things like that. That's kind of hap happening within yourself. Um, it Normally, it shouldn't necessarily be an issue because, you know, different parts of your life, different stages, different movements of energies. This one is definitely not only up to you, but it feels like this one is trying to pull you kind of, you know, to, to, to kind of create some sort of anxiety for this other energy, you know, where it's, it almost feels like they should be separated. Like they're, they're still yours, but like create a sense of separation there because if you try to combine them somehow, these two energies, it's going to be a shit show and it's not going to be healthy for you where one energy is going to try to pull at the other while the other one is going to be lazy and it's going to be like, no, you come to me. No, you come to me. And, and it's, it's, it's just going to create a sense of conflict within yourself that you're going to feel like Ooh, all the time, you know? Whereas if you understand, okay, with this energy, I'm here. Cool. Great. It's moving. It's wanting to move. It's okay. Let's move it with this one. I'm deciding I want to be slow because, you know, I got something going on here. If I treat it in this way and I take it slow. Cool. Great. Within this one, it shows up, th th this devil energy shows up as if it's trying to create some sort of trouble there. Some sort of, well, let's blend these two energies together and let's see if that works. And no, it doesn't, you know. It's like if you understand that these are two very separate energies that you can run separately and still put yourself in both, then you're golden. Because I feel like that's where the conflict shows up. Where one energy is moving a little faster than the other. And they're definitely conflicting. Um, for the Knight of Swords and the supportive energies, you get the Knight of Swords again, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. How would you justify this? Hmm. It almost feels like in order to justify waiting for the other energy of still you that's slower, you kind of put a stop on whatever it is that you're building here. You know, you're like, okay, that's it. We're, we worked up to here because this energy needs to slam on the brakes because we need to wait for the other energy so that everything is in line and then we go from there. It's like, think about it as um, one part of your life. In one part of your life, things are kind of on a roll. Everything's happening. Everything's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. The universe is sending all sorts of synchronicities. It's like, it's like perfection, paradise. Another part of your life... It's not that it's not perfect, it's just that it's freaking slow. You know, it's moving quite slow. It's like, okay, it's taking its time. It's like la di da di da It's still growing, but, mm. but because this one moves like this and this one moves like that, you're looking from the perspective of this one at this one, and you're like, uh, I don't know, man. Is there progress there? Is there? And then doubt starts to set in and all sorts of things. So it's like one energy is influencing the other when it shouldn't. If you understand that they're two separate energies, two separate entities, still you in both, but in a different way. Because otherwise you would try to stop one in the favor of the other and so on and so forth. And it's, it's, no, no. For the king of pentacles, yeah. In the hidden energies, you get the two of cups, the ace of swords, the queen of swords. Yeah, you, and, and, the, and then in this one in which you're growing and you can see you're growing and everything's perfectly symbiotically kind of happening, you're like, okay, well, if I got this one going this right, then I can apply this kind of an energy into this one and then we can kind of force this one to happen. It's like a bad mashed potato of energies <laughs> you know that's trying to happen when it shouldn't be mashed you know potatoes are good the way they are no mashing no mashing around please 
Um, hmm, that's the tendency to pick one energy up because you feel more lifted in another. It's like, no, 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 no. You're, you're doing good. You're doing good up until this point where this idea comes in to, okay, let's make mashed potato here. For the four of pentacles in your hopes and fears, you get the wheel of fortune, the king of cups, the five of cups. You're trying your best to trust. You're trying your best to trust yourself, trust the universe, trust that the way you're doing it, or you've been doing it until the mashed potatoes, um, you're doing it right. You know, you're kind of trying to half of this trust you're giving to yourself, half you're trying to give to the universe. The thing is, you're looking back at the past when you think you may have done that before and you got hurt or something. And then you're like, well, why should I do it? Why should I trust? I did that before. Did you? Did you really? Because I don't know if you did. You know? I don't know. Let's do the Three of Pentacles and the potential outcome. The Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands. How do you end up like this? How do you end up in this energy after all of this? What did you do to the freaking mashed potato here? There's no more potatoes. There's no more nothing. What did you do? How'd you get to this place? Because you're looking at this partnership and you're overthinking things to such extent that you don't even know what to think anymore. You don't even know what you feel anymore. You don't even know nothing anymore, which is a bunch of crap because you do. Um, but it brings back a sense of rejection, a sense of all sorts of things that are opposed to all of this work that you put in here for this. How? How do you get there? You went too far with the mashed potato. That's what happened. You mixed and matched this, these energies like no tomorrow until, yeah, you got to the point of, I don't even know what the fuck is going on anymore. Correct. All right, let's, let's do the universe. Uh, by the way, these energies can be prevented of the future, especially. Um, cause you know, you don't have to make mashed potatoes. You can keep those energies separate and then you're golden. The judgment card, the six of cups, the four of cups. Okay. So it's, it's something quite transformative for a particular connection you have with someone. Again, I have no idea what it is based on the lovers. It could be something very strong, romantic, inclined based on the three of pentacles. It could just be a friendship or a very close friendship or a family dynamic based on the Six of Cups, everything goes, or anything goes. So, uh, but I do see you a little not happy with where things are, but also I see you kind of heading in a good direction with this patience thing that you got going on with this strategy you got in place that again, I feel like most times you don't even know you have it, but it's something quite transformative, not only for the connection, but for yourself here, because it's, it's kind of, you know, pointing out certain things, certain patterns that you may want to bring to the table, certain potatoes you want to bring back to the table. I don't know. So that's it. Let's do the psychic tarot for the heart for you. <clears throat> And you shall find. Let's see what we're seeking. We're seeking. Seek. Where are you? Oh no, don't do this to me, little book. Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, 47. It's uh, spread out into like multiple chapters. So I gotta look at all pages of all chapters. Anyway, seek, keywords, quest, understand, retreat, solitude, introspection, guidance. Sometimes individuals become so engrossed in a relationship or in waiting a relationship that all perspective is lost. The relationship becomes their world and they lose sight of themselves. 
This card suggests that now is the time to take a step back, either from a relationship or from the desire for one, and go on an internal quest to rediscover yourself. One of my favorite sayings is, there can be a we until there's a me. Hmm, that's a good one. If this resonates with you, it's time to have a dialogue with your higher self and guides about who you are and what you really need in life. You may be surprised by the answers. This is also a good time to physically retreat from your busy life and relationships. Attending a spiritual retreat would be optimal. However, simply finding some time for solitude and introspection can be just as beneficial. Take a walk in nature, quiet your mind, and listen for messages from the birds and trees. Give yourself the gift of daily five minutes meditations. Pull a card from the deck and sit with the card's image, seeking its deeper meaning for you about what role relationships play in your life. You may feel that you need assistance in your quest for greater understanding regarding what you need in a relationship or even how to handle a specific relationship. Find a guide or mentor who is knowledgeable in matters of the heart and converse with that person. Affirmation. I take time for solitude and introspection. So it's a me time for Saggy. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.